wonder if the light up will shine on me. Well, I heard the voice, Lord of Jesus said, you come on to me and rest. Let it shine on me. Just let it shine on me. 
Chapter 2, we find them with a heart that has been broken. The choices they have made left them alone. Later in the story, after trials and tribulations, they find redemption in a rugged cross. Suddenly their tragedy has a happy ending, a happy ever after for the lost. And that's the story for me Without Him, where would we be? Little David would have died at the hands of old Goliath Moses would have stopped at the Red Sea The three Hebrew children would have perished in the fire Satan would have won at Calvary And I who was lost would have been lost forever But that's not where the story ends for me For God saw the finish and he wrote another chapter An ending where salvation set me free he never met a broken heart, he wasn't capable of mending. I'm so glad God loves to tell a story with a happy ending. I am not the only one, I know that there are others. Soon every story draws to a close. Epic tales of struggle that have spanned across the ages Where before the cross there was no hope And just before the dawn when the outcome was so certain A knight in shining armor did appear The story took a turn in a way no one expected It's no mystery why I am here 
If it wasn't for his love for you and me Well, the story would have ended differently Little David would have died at the hands of old Goliath Moses would have stopped at the Red Sea The three Hebrew children would have perished in the fire Satan would have won at Calvary And I who was lost would have been lost forever But that's not where the story ends for me For God saw the finish and he wrote another chapter An ending where salvation set me free He never met a broken heart, he wasn't capable of mending I'm so glad God loves to tell a story With a happy ending With a happy
Okay, you guys, this is the look. Okay, um, as you can tell, um, I went very natural. Um, excuse the noise, I'm washing. <laughs> but, um, okay, you guys. So this is the look. Um, I went ahead and put on a sweater and I put on a scarf and I also put on these earrings. Um, I've had for a while, but I thought that they look very festive with the different colors. Kind of reminds you of the lights on the Christmas tree and it's white and it matches the white uh, blouse that I have on. And uh, as far as my hair, I put it up in a bun because this would be the look um, like for Christmas dinner, like something very comfortable. I would even wear a dress as long as it's comfortable. And as far as the scarf, the scarf doesn't to me match the earrings. A lot of times when I get inside, I take my scarf off. So if I take this scarf off, these earrings will match the white blouse in this black um, cardigan um, sweater that I have on. But as far as my makeup, I went very natural. I've been wearing this look all week long. My eyes have been the same the whole week. I just love the color combination. This is what's going on, you guys. I just love it. It just looks so pretty with my brown eyes to me. It just makes my brown eyes pop, and I like it. I love the blush by the Flower brand. I did a haul, and I even bought more shades. Um, this also... Uh, this has a glow to it, but I also included the Hard Candy um, Pin Up uh, Baked Blush, which is more like a highlighter. And this look just looks complete. As far as my lips, I went natural because whenever I'm at a Christmas dinner, I don't like to look too, like, I don't like a whole lot of makeup. So this would be my look for the Christmas dinner just a light lip color and this is very light it's just like a gloss with just a tint of color like a nude color and my makeup just looks very nice it looks very um, not too much but just enough I wouldn't say super natural like natural natural makeup because my eyes is smoked out but I feel like everything is you know, it's it's not too much, okay? Um, so this is the look that I would um I will be doing my face this way for Christmas dinner. So yeah, this is a beautiful look, and I just went with the straight style. I really didn't curl it. I just wanted something relaxable because you're gonna be talking, chatting, laughing, having fun, you know. I'm um, just talking about, you know how it is when it's Christmas dinner, you get, you have your get togethers, you just basically talk, laugh, whatever. I like to be comfortable and this look I think is still appropriate with the ball in the back. It still looks dressed up, it still looks appropriate for a dinner in my opinion as far as an appearance goes. So yeah you guys, this is just a little bit of an idea as to what I will be looking like <laughs> for Christmas dinner. So yeah, I'm going to let you go. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this holiday tutorial. And yeah, you guys, I'm going to let you go. And there will be one more video for this week. And then there will be more videos next week. So yeah, you guys, I'll let y'all go. Y'all have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening. And remember, I love you. Bye-bye.